Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your Xbox 360 wireless controller work on Windows 8. So first you're going to need one of these, link is in the description, and obviously you're going to need your controller. Okay, now to begin, you're going to drag your mouse to the upper right hand corner. You're going to go down to settings, go down to PC info, device manager, now you're going to want to plug in the, uh, the device. Okay. Now, you're going to find uh, this little guy here. Unknown device. So, you just click it twice. And, um, then you say, update driver. Browse my computer. And then let me pick. Okay, now you're going to scroll all the way down to Xbox 360 peripherals. Give it a second. This might take a little bit. Okay, so now for our version, we're going to go down to Wireless Gaming Receiver 2.1, this one. Now this works with 32-bit uh, uh, versions of Windows 8. If you have uh, 64 and you know it, then you can get this one. But if you don't know which one, I recommend just getting the 32 one. So click Next. Update driver warning. This is basically saying that this could be a virus. Obviously, it's not because it's uh, by because it's by Microsoft. So just say yes. It's going to install the driver. Okay. So now the, the driver should be working. And let's close out all this. To sync uh, the device with your controller, you push this button here. You, it'll usually automatically start syncing when you plug it in, because every time you unplug it, you have to resync your controller. So you do that. Hold down the power button on your controller and push the uh, sync button up here. And there you go. Your controller is ready to be used with uh, Windows 8. Now, if you guys want to know about this, uh, a lot of Steam games do support controller use. And um, you can get some programs that uh, do keys for buttons. Uh, this has been Alec, and thanks for watching.